Today's a big day. We're gonna get an upgrade on the Baron with Avidine. Well, first, I'm gonna inspect the runway and I'm gonna take you with me on this journey. but uh, nothing uh, to be worried about. So, pretty good. Let's go get ready. The runway is inspected. Obviously, we've done our pre-flight. I'm gonna text my maman pour lui dire que je décolle. Encore une fois, un gros bonjour à mes amis français et ma famille. Aujourd'hui, on s'en va à l'antenne. Je décolle bientôt. Bisous. be again a short flight. We're gonna go to Lantana to meet with uh, Sarasota. They will be installing our new avionics and we're going with Avidyne. I'm really excited. I even painted my nails. Avidyne green, Antiquers, and KLNA. So we uh, checked the runway. We looked at where the wind was coming from. He looked at uh, if there was any debris or anything like that. And um, the grass is a little long, longer than I'm used to. So we'll just do the usual and keep our nose up. All right, and uh, Eric is on our left here. And I'm just gonna enter our flight plan. Flex to Delta Zero. Even though it's a short flight, I mean, it's like eight miles straight line. I do the usual, I keep the same routine. Even though it's a short flight, I keep the same thing over and over and over again. I don't change anything that I'm doing, so there's no surprises. All right, and uh, looks like our altimeter is probably 3012 if I'm going with field of elevation. That will be most likely a straight out departure. And I'll put the practice area area in here just in case, which is the 2275. And the AWAS is a 119er. Point nine two five. Okay, we'll say bye to Eric. He already left. Probably gonna take a picture. 
sure of us when we get the fuel pump off when we take off. I think there's traffic at Baron. Back taxi 27 right north runway, takers. And we'll do our run up at uh, the end of uh, this runway right here. So next time we fly with the. There's birds there. The Baron will have a new, brand new stack from Avidine. Let's rest here. Fuel pump on. 1500 RPM. Make sure I get this here so I can re verify afterwards. RPM decrease, tiny fall increase, pressure decrease. No oil, no smoke, RPM decrease, tiny fall increase, pressure decrease, no oil, no smoke, 2000 RPM. Back check, one, two, a hundred drop, back to both, one, got the same, back to both, one, two, back to both, one, back to both. All the lights, 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 green, vacuum in, and green, green. We'll get the fuel pump off and we'll turn them back on when we get at the end of the runway. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. We are based at, uh, there's a little cumulus there, so we'll be careful. We're based in uh, Antiquers. Antiquers traffic, Baron, back taxi, Niner, right, South Runway Antiquers. And this is in Delray Beach, South Florida. Uh, the South Runway is a mile long. And uh, it's well maintained, it's lit. So it means that we can land at night. Easily, no problem. I use a lot of uh, different LED marks around this area, so I don't get confused. There's uh, definitely a lot of canals. There's these buildings next to us here, south of us, uh, which is easy to uh, see from far away. Just slow down a little. Right here. And Eric is at the end there. Alright, run up is complete, and if we have anything abnormal, we'll power to idle and brake straight ahead. And it goes traffic, Baron, departing runway 9 or right, south runway will be a straight out departure. Uh, Altitude. Mindful pressure in a little bit. On beach, and the Aspen is telling us that we have to automated weather observation. Slow down. Five, five, three. Our climb. Zulu weather. Wind one two zero at eight. Visibility seven. One thousand scattered. One thousand eight hundred scattered. So they might be landing on one four. We'll see. I think there's traffic, Baron, uh, just uh, northeast of the runway, heading uh, east, 900 feet, climbing 1,000. Last call, Antiquers. 
Man 10, a traffic helicopter, 12 foot 10, we're right down in front of me, 1 0 and. Oh, good. Departure to the west, Man 10. Land center traffic, Baron 1879 Lima, 7 miles south uh, west of the field, and bound will uh, fly over the shoreline at 1,000 feet, then enter left on wind, 1 0 Land center. I uh, sh sure hope, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to wait. There's uh, gonna have to wait. Oh, uh, antenna traffic, uh, Baron 1879 near Lima, just south of the Borton Beach Inlet. Uh, we'll wait until the storm passes, uh, Lantana. Palm Beach County Park Airport, Lantana. Automated weather observation, 155. Zulu weather wind one zero zero at niner gust one six visibility four Captain safety helicopter five five to tango take off activate alpha pilot runway one zero nine ten two point two six altimeter three zero one six remark density altitude one thousand five hundred lightning distant northeast through southeast. Palm Beach County Park Airport, Lantana. Lantana well, traffic, uh, Baron 187, Lima, heading back to uh, Foxtrot Delta 08. Uh, we'll uh, come back later when the storm passes, Lantana. Or just south of the one uh, of the field, five miles south of the field, Lantana. Lantana traffic, Diamond 143 Alpha, party, runway 10, Lantana. Lantana traffic, helicopter, 5 for Tango, right coast means runway 10, Lantana. Start that over. Lantana traffic, number 1290 Whiskey is at runway 10, uh, taxiing on to the runway for takeoff for a westbound departure. Lantana traffic, Baron 1879 Lima, 7 miles south of the field. We're going to fly over Port Beach and let and down um, get in the left down wind now. When they're in All right, cow flaps uh, closed or trimmed really nice. And we'll verify the broken 1600 broken temperature 2 feet Celsius 2.25 altimeter 3016 remark density altitude 1003. Lantana traffic, helicopter 6 Alpha Tango taking off Alpha Taxiway, parallel to 10, right pattern traffic, Lantana. Lantana traffic, 1290, whiskey is on departure left 10, going out to the inner coastal and then southbound at 1000. Lantana. And Lantana traffic, bearing 1879 or Lima, 1000 speed, just south of the Borton Beach and let heading north, looking for the incoming traffic, Lantana. Lantana traffic, November 1290, whiskey. Uh, is turning crosswind down the intercoastal for a southbound uh, departure and then to the white roofs to head westbound. Atlanta no traffic, Baron 187, not just south of the Borton Beach Inlet at 900 feet, looking for traffic coming south, Lantana. Uh, Lima, I am over the intercoastal now heading on the crosswind. And I'm just south of the Boynton Beach Inlet, uh, over the coastline. So we should be pretty good there. You, you should soon see me. I'm at 800 feet on the crosswind. Got you in sight. Excellent. Thank you. Lantana traffic, Diamond 4, Delta Sierra, take off runway 10. Southbound Lantana. 
Montana traffic at Baron 187, Niner Lima, entering a left on Wen, 10 Lantana. Lantana traffic, helicopter picks up a tango, right base, for 10 to the runway, Lantana. Lantana traffic, the number 1290 Whiskey is turning westbound over the white roof at uh, 1,000 feet. That will slow down even more. Lantana traffic down 4,000, departing to the south, Lantana. Lantana traffic, Baron 187, Niner Lima, left down wind, midfield, left down wind, 10 uh, Lantana. Lantana traffic, helicopter 6 south to Tango, final for 10 to the runway, Lantana. Now we'll just cut right before the storm. And uh, we'll enter a little bit more speed. I can't radio check. Loud and clear. All right, I got my blue line. And I will stop right here. Left on a traffic, Baron 187, Nando Lima, turning uh, left base. Uh, one zero lenta. Lantana traffic, Baron 187 Nalima, turning final, 1-0 Lantana. Helicopter on final in sight? Yes, I have you in sight. I'm going to switch over to Alpha Taxi Way. Got a helicopter inside, Baron is on the final, 1-0 Lantana. Around Alpha Parallel, 1-0 Lantana. All right, Brett Ridley, stick with me. Lanta traffic, Baron is on short final, 1-0 Lanta. Three greens. Red, blue, green. And we've got water on the runway. That was interesting. Supply brakes, supply brakes. Lantana traffic, Skyhawk 046, cross the runway 4 on Charlie Lantana. Lantana traffic, helicopter 6 up a tango, right cross wind for 1 0, Lantana. Lantana traffic, Baron 1879, am I clear? 10 zero Lantana. Okay. Yeehaw! Five off, thank you, up. R&D, we're staying at the north uh, spot, just doing one more approach. Lantana traffic, helicopter 6 Alpha Tango, right base for 1 0, Lantana. Correction for Alpha Taxi Way, Lantana.
So they made space for the Baron. I'm gonna back her up and uh, she's gonna be here for a couple weeks. So Garrett is opening all the Avedon boxes. What did you find? Two transponders, looks like an IFP, their audio panel. Awesome. Here's your pilot's guides, uh, a quick reference for the airplane. Okay. That's your, nav your, your data stick for nav data, obstacles, and charts. So far, everything looks good. All nicely organized on one table. So this is this is pretty fun to see all the wires inside the plane. Uh, so we we had to take all the different pat all the panels. Yes. And uh, Garrett is here, looking good. Everything is nice and organized. It's clean. It's clean. Now you know what your plane looks like. Yeah. <laughs> It is so blue. <laughs> so we started today. Yeah, we uh, removed this morning. We started removing the interior that we need for access. Removed all the avionics, glare shield, removing wires we don't need anymore that are just hanging out back there. Okay. <laughs> Making it a little safer. Yeah, yeah, that's good. How much more time do we uh, are we gonna do the the gutting portion of it? Not much, either. Should Almost be done finished. By huh? the end of the day or That's amazing. Monday. You guys are awesome. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Machines. Done this a few times. Yeah, <laughs> it shows. It really shows. So Eric is uh, gutting the airplane right now. How is it going so far? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Just started. Just started. Since this morning. Okay, so we started this morning. Yeah. Just put in a push a shot, relocated and put it here. Very good, thank you. Yeah. That's gonna make it a lot easier. It's gonna be easier than having to push to talk. Down there, yeah. Down there, yeah. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Yeah, no problem. You can keep the mounting screws here, of course. But all that. That's going to be the new panel, a new portion of the panel. Yeah, it's a new cover plate where your transponder was. Really cool. Good. I have everything just in a row. Mm -hmm. In the top. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, music too. Keep that there. I always need the music. What you doing here? The vacuuming. Oh. We got a new antenna. Look at that! It's a brand new GPS antenna. Day number three on the Avidine upgrade. Uh, one new antenna has been installed on the top, as you can see. And uh, the cleanup is pretty much done. Uh, next step will be to start uh, putting the uh, units in. So, moving forward really nicely. Cleaning all the little dust, even our own dust. Just making sure everything is nice and clean. So on day four, um, they have installed the Avedine Skytrax. Um, it's gonna be the Skytrax 200 and also the blind uh, transponder as well. So they're pulling uh, all the wires that needs to be there. Really cool wire. Actually, it's beautiful. And uh, yeah, it's still moving along, doing really good. So when installing antennas in any source, uh, especially transponders, you have to have at least five feet in between 
the two antennas. Is that where we can install the antenna? Yeah, the... The blind transponder. Yeah, the transponder and the sky one here. And the sky, okay, the yeah, sky tracks. They need to have a distance. Oh, yeah, so they don't interfere each with each other. Sarasota and Lantana and uh, Garrett is going to do a quick explanation of the uh, two transponders uh, that we're uh, installing in the Baron. Let's uh, let Garrett take, take control of that explanation. This is the AXP340, uh, Avidyne's ADSP app transponder. Um, this is also their AXP322 mode S transponder remote. Um, it's good to have redundancy, especially if you take long trips. We've never had that before. We just had one transponder. Now we have two. Um, you got the panel mount, and obviously you can control it through the panel. And then the remote mount will be controlled through the IFDs. And then we're also going to have a stand one-two standby switch. So both of them can't be on at the same time. The switch allows either one or the other. 